Get over here! Oh my god. You guys weren't kidding. So I saw a few comments in the Kid Cobra episode warning me about Helix and playing as him. You guys weren't kidding. I'm going to go ahead right out of the gate, guys, and say that I actually think that Helix might be the worst character in this game. And on that note, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of ARMS featuring the arcade mode. And, uh, yeah, like, as we've mentioned before, today's going to be Helix episode. Now, here's the thing. This is my third attempt playing through arcade mode with Helix. He is so unintuitive. So difficult to control. Not so much difficult to control, but his gimmick just doesn't really serve any real purpose here. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this whole situation, because if I were to describe Helix in two words, it's frustrating and boring. And that's the worst thing you can say about a character in a, in a video game, let alone a fighting game. And yeah, I feel that about Helix. Like, this is my third attempt trying to beat through arcade mode, and I got so frustrated playing it in my previous attempts that I just don't really want to do this. I don't want to play as Helix through the arcade mode. So, here's what we're going to do in this episode, guys. Because, like, I I'm pretty sure this is, like... I I'm pretty sure this is nothing on me, either. Because I played this game in a bad mood beforehand when I played as Mechanica. And, like, I had a great time with Mechanica. I had a great time with Master Mummy. Who would have thought that the character that would, like, absolute break me when it came to the arcade mode was this blob of crap? Anyway, huh, starting the episode off really good, aren't I? So here's what I'm going to do. Starting with Max Brass and going on later, because I have played these characters as well. These ki these characters are fun. These are characters are actually fun, and their gimmicks actually serve a really cool purpose. Not this dude. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to go... We're actually going to lower the difficulty with Helix. We're going to tackle his, um, his arcade mode at level 4. Because I really don't feel like trying level 5 again. Hopefully lowering the difficulty will give me a much better time. So here goes, because, yeah, I, I tried going through level 5 arcade mode with this dude, but I, I was at 20 attempts at, like, the 7th stage, and I just, I just gave up. I actually just gave up. Live from the DNA lab, the joy, the rush, the strangeness of the Arms Grand Prix is upon us. And who else would be here to share in this action-packed event but your buddy Biff? Back again is our gelatinous friend and mysterious life form, Helix. Listen to this. While he was being cultivated, Helix watched every past Grand Prix from his test tube. Talk about having a knowledge base. Speaking of, where exactly is his brain? I don't know. I'm willing to bet it's non-existent. It's a mystery, but that's nothing new around here. The Arms Grand Prix is about to start. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I'm, I apologize to any Helix fans out there, but... I I did not have fun with I'm not having fun with this dude and I'm not looking forward to this either. Match one, here we go. Ugh. It's Helix versus the Bouncer Springman. If you think he looks hot, just wait until you get a taste of his toasters. Not sure how to beat someone who resembles a comic book hero, but go get him, Helix. Um, alright, so. Um, Helix has the Blorps, the Ice Dragons, and the Guardians. Our first introduction to shielding and blinding weapons in this game, which is interesting. Um, not a fan of the Guardians on Helix himself. I tried them, but Helix is all about evasion, so he doesn't really need defense. Like, um, honest, I mean, he does, I guess, in a way. Point is, Lollapop has shield weapons too, and they work a lot better on her because of how her gimmick works. But yeah, for this playthrough, we're going to be run running with Blorb and Ice Dragon. Here we go. Well... Starting off strong, aren't we? Alright, alright, I see you, freaking... I see you, Spring Man. Whoa. Ugh, starting off real strong, aren't we? Yeah, so I learned how to control this dude, and look at this. Like, it should be interesting. It should be, but it really is not. It feels really strange and just unintuitive. Ugh. Uh, I'm not happy. This is four. This is four difficulty. I should not be having this much trouble. 
All right. He's going to get caught by that, isn't he? No, he dodged it. Okay. Ouch. All right, got the grab. All right, then. Here we go. It's a shame, too, because I don't really want to hate anyone in this game. But, yeah, I'm willing to say that I really... I'm not going to say I hate Helix, but, yeah, I don't like him. All right, let's see if I can get him with a super. All right, there we go. Got him. Okay. Man, I had trouble in, like, I had trouble, and this is only the first freaking round. Uh, this is going to be an anger episode, I swear. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, that was my bad. I rose without meaning to. It's a shame because, like, his concept is, like, neat, but in execution, yeah, like, a lot of you guys in the comments were warning me about this, and you're right. Like, his concept is, like, cool in, in, on paper. In practice, though, yeah, it's very unintuitive, just awkward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you manage to continue that? Ow. Gonna do anything there, Springman? I mean, I broke his arm, so I might as well go ahead and for the super and for the kill. All right then, one round down. There is another reason I'm lowering the difficulty. Hopefully, it's enough. Um, but I I do want to try and and tackle Springtron. That being said, I might be trying to attempt this with the worst possible character. But here goes. Match two. Keep it going. Ugh. Yeah, puns. It's Helix versus the Speed Demon, Kid Cobra. Watch out for his quick step after he charges up. And beware, his punches will come at you from real low, like a snake. Yeah. Like an actually fun character, maybe? Yeah, I had a lot. I, like, I... Like, I, I mentioned this before, and I'll, I'll say it again. I had a lot of fun with Co Kid Cobra. Oh, boy. All right, yeah, there we go. Interesting. I didn't mean to get off the thing. There we go. Oh, you don't even need to dash in order to... Oh, jeez. Okay. This feels very weird. Especially on the snake boards. Okay, there we go. Got him. That took a little more effort than I cared for. Alright, alright, alright. Let's keep this up. Uh, there we go. Okay, he just stood there and took it. There we go. He's just standing there and taking it. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Also, it's difficulty level four, so I suppose I shouldn't expect anything else. Huh, I got a perfect. All right then. See, that's the problem here. Like, it doesn't feel very exciting. It doesn't feel like 
Maybe it's also because I'm still kind of getting over the frustration of my first attempt when it came to uh, Helix's playthrough, but I don't know. I'm not having fun with this guy, like, at all. Oh, how is... how is this gonna work? Match three, goofing on! Let's change it up and play some b-ball! The rules are simple, hit the ball over the net. Oh, and the ball will explode after a bit, so watch out for that. First of five points wins! Now get out there and show a little, and show some hustle. Um, how is this gonna work? Because the Blorb is grounded, the Ice Dragon takes time to charge up, and the Guardians... Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's another thing, by the way. Like, I, playing Skill Shot, in particular, with, uh, Helix, is a really bad time. Like, a really bad time. Huh. Like, you see what I'm talking about here? Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. Let's see. No! Um... So, what happens with a tie? Ah, oh, it gives it to the opponent because it te it's technically not a win. Okay, well then. I think as a result, I'm not going to be able to fight, um, I'm not going to be able to fight Springtron, but we'll see. Because technically I'm not supposed to win a, I'm not supposed to lose a round, but what happens with Skill Shot and, like, the minigames in particular is what I want to know. Okay, now I'm figuring it out. Huh. I suppose that's the advantage with Helix when it comes to this game is that his uh, arms can just go over like that. That's gotta be cheating. So what happens if you lose a mini game? Uh, and if, like, even if, like, it was a draw too, so... Uh, we'll see. Uh, assuming I don't lose a round. Match four, growing stronger. It's Helix versus the Scrapyard Scrapper Mechanica. If I put on a suit, do you think I'd have a chance in the Grand Prix? I actually have no idea how that thing is even legal. Anyway, here we go. You bring that up now, Biff? All right. There we go. Ow. Didn't get too, too damaged there, at least. Ah, that's super armor. Yep, yep, there's that super armor. Alright, if you're gonna stand there and take it, I will take advantage of that. Got her. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hopefully I can keep this up. Because goodness gracious. Ouch. Mmm. All right, there we go. Got the grab. All right. Oh, wow. That was weird. Ugh. Really? Oh, 
Oh, wow. I'm actually rather surprised that worked like that. I almost got hit by those seek by those homies, too. Alrighty, then. Ugh. Get, get, get out of here, Helix. I don't, I don't want to see your face. Ugh. All right, let's keep going. Match five, halfway there. It's Helix versus the spirited fighter Misango. Deep within this lush forest, the air is positively delicious. I can't help but breathe extra deep. Being born, uh, created in a lab, Helix may be experiencing nature for the first time today. I wonder, can the result of a lab experiment appreciate such beaut- such natural beauty? I guess we'll see. So, he's a cyborg? Made in a lab? Let's move on. There we go. Gotcha. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Was that another perfect? Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I guess lowering the difficulty was a good idea. But, again, by this point, things started to get a little frustrating. Right, let's see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, no lie, guys. Like, around this point, level 5 was just, like... It, it was getting annoying. So, like, I have, no qual I have no qualms lowering the difficulty with this dude. Because, again, like... Even, even though I'm doing well now, like, I still don't find this guy all that fun or intuitive or anything like that. Like, I am, I am legit, I am legitimately kind of bored with this dude. And that's not a good thing. Like, you know those fighting games, like, you, you have a character that you just don't gel with and you never really want to learn them and never took the time to learn them. And when you did try, you, like, realize exactly why you never bothered to even try to learn them. That's this dude right here for me, is Helix. Because it's like, ugh. Because, yeah, like, trying to play through the arcade mode just was just torture, honestly. And I hate to say it, because, again, the co Helix's concept is decent. It's just, the execution was just terrible. Like, I'm kind of just, like, bobbing and weaving right now and just, like, you know moving around with him and doing my best to fight, but the problem is, he doesn't really force me to adapt, ironically, to a different strategy, because, like, nothing about his gimmick really is all that beneficial to him, and then there's this. Okay, don't get me started on this. Match six, don't ooze focus. Ugh, stop it, Biff. Let's switch it up and play some skill shots. You play by smashing targets as they fly by. The more targets you can destroy in a row, the more points you can score. Your opponent will be smashing targets too, so watch out for incoming punches. Whoever racks up the highest score before time runs out, wins. Okay, let's see what you got. This is another thing. Helix's arms are not that fast. And thus, skill shot is kind of painful with him. I had a run- my first run through had skill shot as the minigame. And it took me 15 tries to beat it with Helix. That says something. So, no, I am not looking forward to this right now. Like so. Oh, good lord. Yep, it starts.
Okay, I managed to clutch it out just barely. <sighs> but yeah, like, that's the problem with Helix in this run. Like, I only barely managed to win. Level 5 was just torturous. Like, actual torturous. Alright. I'm, I'm actually really glad I lowered the difficulty with this guy. This is my third... Uh, like I said, this is my third try trying to beat arcade mode with uh, Helix. And I'm still not having a good time. Match 7. It's in your genes. It's Helix versus the Sucker Puncher Lollipop. For this match, we're taking it to the streets. It's a literal street fight, people. Even if this is Helix's first, that's still more than most two-year-olds. I suppose that's true. Here we go. Ah, oh, Lollipop, you are you are charming, and I love the fact that you're just bouncing around and trying to cheer me up. And I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Oh gosh. Then again, I don't appreciate you kicking me like that. Okay, she built up some good, um, a good amount of meter there. Get out of here! You're getting up really close up in, up in my face. Not sure how much I appreciate that. Well, whoa. whoa. Oh, okay. You know what? See, that's what that's what that's what that that was supposed to be the appeal of Helix is being able to like you know morph his body and and bob and weave and dodge all around that. I almost did it there. Keyword almost. I'm actually gonna see if I can save the meter for the next round. Like, that's what you're, like, that's the appeal with Helix, is, like, being able to bob and weave and dodge around like that. Like, manipulate his hit, his hurt box and everything. It's just, it, it's not as satisfying as it, as, like, the game, I, it's not as satisfying as I think the developers intended, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just gonna time her out at this point. Alright, there we go. All right, let's keep it up. Uh, she switched over to the clapback. Whoa. Okay, got the grab. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. There we have it. Okay. Okay, I'm actually surprised I got that much damage. There we go. Okay. Alright, we're making progress, which is good. Uh, it, it just kind of sucks because, like, all of my progress has nothing to do with Helix's gimmick. I'm just fighting as best I can with the arms and just, like, you know, bobbing and weaving and, like, trying to dodge everything. But... I noticed that it, it, it just feels a lot it just feels a lot better when you're dodging with other characters like with like Min Min and whatnot. Match eight, the surface tension builds. It's Helix versus the Clockwork Cops Bite and Bach. They may be wound up, but you can really feel the love when they fight together. Helix doesn't seem fully self-aware yet, so I wonder how they look to him. Cause yeah, like okay, as I was I was as bleh, as I was explaining, right? Just like dodging just feels so much better with other characters. Like, not this guy. There we go. Ugh. There we go. Got the grab. Get out of here. There we go, there we go. Ow. Got the grab again. Oof. Oof. Mm. Huh, not bad, not bad. There we go, okay. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason I'm able to get this far is because the difficulty is at 4. I'm still not even sure if I'll be able to fight Springtron because I drew on the, uh, on the V-Ball. We'll have to see. <laughs> he said bye-bye. Okay, he's... He's upping his game, it seems. There we go. Okay. Ah! Has he only got me with grab so far? Ah, uh, that wasn't very good. Got the grab, though. Whoa, that looked weird. Ugh. Got the grab, and that should be it. I, I will give Helix one thing. He has a cool grab animation with that one streak and that kick that he does. I, I will grant him that one. Like, he's got some things that are, like, decent, but then just everything else. Ugh, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't really stand Helix. I really can't. Alright, Min Min, here we go. Match 9, crack the code. It's Helix versus the Ramen Bomber Min Min. Her signature Ram Ram arms paint the flaming curve through the air. It's just like the curve of a ramen bowl. And hot like the soup within. Interesting analogy there, Biff. Alright, there we go. Good. Whoa. Whoa! That was a bad time to grab. There we go, okay. Managed to get some of my health back, and I hit her a few times, good. Okay, she got the dragon charge. Gotta be careful now. Whoa! Good maneuvering, not gonna lie. Oof, that was weird. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oof. Okay, there we go. Got the super off. Whew. Okay. Difficulty is picking up a bit. But I'm getting there. Here we go. Okay, see if I can get the grab? Really? That did not work. Oof. Uh, I tried to get the super off before she could recover, but hey, there we go. Okay, I managed to get her before she was able to get out. This is dirty, but... See, there we go. Like, that's the kind of thing you gotta do with the uh, Helix. The game just doesn't really give you much of an opportunity to do that, given everything else that's going on with the game. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe, like, I'm pretty sure there are some people out there that, like, are able to get the most out of Helix's, um, Helix's gimmick, and, like, to those guys I say, more power to you, because, like, you're mastering something really good. If, like, Jill's, like, one level three super in, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, if you can master that, then more power to you. I can't do it. Ah, uh, wow. Guess I'm gonna time her out. Mm. All right, there we go. Ugh. Just, just, just stop, okay? All right, so yeah, it seems that we wouldn't. It seems like because I didn't really lose a round there, but that one draw, uh, in uh, freaking, uh, volleyball just messed me up on that. That sucks. It's Helix versus the Kamish, Max Brass. The champion of the Grand Prix will be decided here in the highest fighting ring in the world. What's waiting for Helix on the other side of the potential victory? We're about to find out because this is it. The grand finale, the final fight. Go get it, Helix. Honestly, I'm just in the mood of let's get this over with. I want to move on to a different character. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Whoa. There we go. Okay. Getting it. Getting it. Ow. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Whoa. Okay, got the grab. Alright, I got the super punishing the hammer down. Alright, there we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright, let's keep it up. Oof, ouch. Okay, that hurt. Whoa, okay. Ah! Whoa! Okay, not bad, not bad, Max Brass. I think he might have won this round, but we're not done yet. Ow! Whoa! Did he grab right after the block? All right, well, he used up his super meter, so he's not going to have it for the next round. I think I still have mine, now that I think about it. All right, here we go. Yep, still have it. Let's see if I can get an early super. Okay, got the grab. Huh. All right, there we go. Huh. Interesting. All right. Oh, there it is. Oof, okay. Ah. Okay, there we have it. 
done. Oh, but I still gotta go one more round. Okay, just just stop it, Helix. Seriously, just stop. Can it be? Has someone finally taken down the Max Brass? Ladies and gents, the win- What the? Up in the sky! What is that thing? It's glommed onto Max Max's head! Kamish! Somebody help him! Uh-oh. I think this guy's looking for a fight! Who's gonna take care of this creep? Alrighty then. Here we go. Another day, another fight against Headlock. What a turn of events! Victory was all but assured, but now there's a potty crasher to deal with! I have no idea what's going on, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be fun to watch! Good luck, Helix! If you can fight off this freak, perhaps you'll finally find the answers you seek! Uh, what answers is he looking for? Like, last I checked, this guy haven't, hasn't really self-actualized all that much yet. At least as far as I'm concerned. Either way, let's take this uh, let's take this guy down so that we no longer have to play as Helix anymore. Like, that that's honestly, like, the main motivator right now for me. Is just, like, I just want to move on to another character. Ugh. Not good. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Whoa! Yep, there's that grab. There we go, okay, okay. Caught up. Good. Oh, jeez, that's super! Mm. Oh, man, that super allowed him to catch up. Frick! Alright, let's try that again. Alright, if he's just gonna stand there and take it. Alright, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. Hmm. Oof. Oof. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Broke his arm. Got the grab. Boom. There we go. Okay. Okay. One more round. We got this, Helix. Yeah. In red, in, like in hindsight, I'm really glad I lowered the difficulty with this guy, cause like I was having so much trouble just like uh, playing through um, level five, like difficulty five, that I just did not want to deal with it. Ugh. Though, he might win this one because, like, he's doing a lot of damage to me. Alright, there we go. Got the grab. Dang it! Okay, he got me there. He got me there. Alright, let's just calm down. You, you, you can go ahead and laugh all you want, uh, Tadlock. I'll beat you eventually. But, yeah. At least I know it's not impossible with Helix, because I got him that one round. 
funnily enough, like, I noticed that headlock, like, kind of falls apart a little bit when I get up and up close and personal. Like so. There we go, like that. Okay, build up some meter. Yep, just keep on doing that. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get into some dangerous territory. Huh. Okay, I was avoiding everything, like, really nicely there for a moment. Almost like I'm supposed to be, almost like I was playing Helix like he was supposed to be played. And then that happens. And then that happens. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Yep. Okay. Caught him pushing a button. I took a gamble there, but it was worth it. That does mean I start this next round without a super meter, and he's got all of his. Hmm. Oh, wow, his punch actually saved me from, like, the maximum amount of damage that blast could have dealt, so... I'm actually gonna say thank you, Headlock, for that one. Hmm. Ugh. Really? Come on, dude. Be cool. Really? Ugh, that's super armor. Okay, got the grab. Mm. Okay, that didn't work at all. Wow! Explosion! Thought I dodged that for a moment. All right, here we go. Mm. All right, got the grab. There we go. There we go. Got another grab. There we go. Good, 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 good. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, wow. I dodged it. Okay. I think I got him! There it is! Okay! And we're done! We don't have to fight as Helix anymore. Can I move on to another character, please? I'm going to take that as a yes. Bye. Goodness. Yes! That creep is down for the count! Hold on, I've just received some intel. During a routine experiment at Arms Laboratories, there was a- What? That light! It's everywhere! Is Max gonna be okay? Funny. And there it goes. It's gone! What was that thing? Where did it come from? And will it be back? I wonder, think I'd look good in a mask? I've been kind of been a rut lately style-wise, but never mind that! How's Max doing? Why was I even worried? Look at that brass beast! That's our commish! He's flexing like nothing happened! Glad you're at least happy, Max Brass. 
Anyway, now that that's over, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. And... There we go. Yeah. It's unfortunate, because this was easily the worst episode, in my opinion. Like, yeah, I got a perfect score most of the rounds, but... Uh, just... Uh... Yeah, no, not gonna lie, guys. Helix is not fun. He's not fun, he's not intuitive, it's just... Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna be playing Helix ever again, probably. But yeah, your new grand champion, the man of mystery, Helix. From experiment to ultimate success, congratulations! As another ARMS Grand Prix draws to a close, I'd like to thank all the competitors and the fans at home. See you next time, folks! Well, all right then. There we go. Helix is done. I'm out. I need a. W I need a drink of water. What's his end screen? Ha! <laughs> he he hums the arms theme. That's actually kind of cute. This is a creepy looking art, though. Not gonna lie. Let's just. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We never have to deal with this dude ever again. I'll, I'm perfectly fine fighting him. I never want to play as him ever again. So yeah. Thank you, thank you everyone for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Arms featuring the arcade mode. And oh boy, I apologize to anyone out there who likes Helix. I really do, but I did not have fun. I really didn't. The I had to lower the difficulty after three attempts because just I, I couldn't get a handle on him. I really couldn't. Even at this level 4 stage, like, it's just, it just didn't feel good. It didn't feel good at all, not gonna lie. So, there we have it, everyone. On that note, next time on ARMS. Things are gonna get a lot cooler, a lot more intuitive, and a lot more fun. We're tackling Max Brass next episode, so, see you guys then.